So hey everyone, what's going on? Map the Sats Watch here and we're at my desk. Um, you're probably wondering why we're at my desk. Well, you can see I have a lot of stuff on here and don't really have much room anymore. And the main problem is because of this thing. As much as I love it, it takes up a lot of room because I opted to go with the Mac Mini and monitor instead of going with a MacBook Pro or something like everyone else does. So, to rectify this problem, we got myself a nice little clampable monitor stand that I can clamp in, in the back and then it'll just make life easier. But also at the same time, I can put my, my monitor in portrait mode. Which if, which, if you've never experienced a computer in portrait mode, especially like web pages or typing up papers, it makes life so much easier. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna take you along uh, with me. So, so, so I'm gonna clear everything off and then we're gonna start mounting the VV monitor onto this and then mount this onto this. So let's well, let's just jump right in. All right. So now that we have this all done, let's just... That just came off quite uh, nicely there. Um, so everything here came from uh, it came from a human eccentric, and I have to say these are some really beefy and heavy parts, which is which I really like. So this should just snap right in, and it does, and that's not that's not gonna move. That's a really solid just piece there. That's just not just not going to move. Okay, I thought that was going to take a lot longer. So now, let's come back over to the desk. Ooh, no, 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 no more. So no, so no edit right there. Now, let's get to the fun part. The actual clampage of like that that may seem a little bit overkill but but that just tells you the type of quality that 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 this thing is like I really enjoy this it just it 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 it, it warms my heart let's be real because I have a pretty thinner desk and I might look into maybe be um into maybe getting a block of wood and and, and, and put it there so that so that way I can just apply a little bit more pressure. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, so I just need two screws in the Allen wrench and we'll be good. So, there's the Allen wrench. There are... Let's say the small screws? Okay, those are definitely the larger screws, okay. Let's get right into this, okay. Now I see where this is starting to work. And you can pick your own height. So I'm gonna pick that. Apparently you do it from the other side. Okay, no problemo. Easy enough. Just get it started. Just get it teased so that way it knows exactly where to go. 
and then crank it down. There. Just make sure they are tight. Oh yeah, those are not moving. Okay, so that part's done. So now at this point I just clamp it on. Oh my gosh, that will sit nice. So that's basically where the middle of the desk is, maybe just a little over. Yep. And then you won't see this, but I'll be underneath here, just turning away at these until they go on. This now should not. Oh, that's solid. That is solid. And if I remember to, I will, I will link this all down below. But this whole rig cost me like sixty-five five bucks from Amazon. It's super cheap. It, I was extremely happy be about that. Okay. Okay, now I'm starting to understand how this works. So you can take these to loosen. To tighten, okay. So, this just goes on like so. That is nifty. Okay, there's gotta be a way to take off these caps. Exit shows that you can take them off, but I'm not sure how to. Okay, so I just need the O and M's. So what I need these four. And just the just the little O rings. Okay. 
I'm sure you can't see like half of this, honestly, but yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm gonna try and, and, and do this in, in, in real time, which you guys are probably seeing like right now, just to kind of show you how long this would take. Because honestly, this won't take me that long. Because here comes portrait mode. So happy. Ooh. Okay, that's extremely helpful now. Okay. So yeah, so if you did not know, no, that's portrait mode. Or that's supposedly how portrait mode is supposed to be. Which is very cool. Very cool. So, I'm going to just take this and get it to the proper height. So this will just become extremely easy to, to work with. Or near the proper height. it up and there we go okay so this point just a little bit too high a little bit too low. There we go, now the process has started. All right, let's get the screwdriver now. So now this is actually starting to become a, to become a, Bit of a pain, but that's okay. Because in the end, this will be worth it. Oh, and then at all, just about. There it goes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Just get enough to where it becomes flush. Now I can take this and lift it up just ever so slightly. There we go. So now the bottom two holes should just go right in without issue. Actually, just for the sake of it, what can I do? So currently you've been looking at this. Let's bring you around. Here. Yeah, let's try this. So now you can kind of see how this is all working. Oh, 
so <sighs> like I'll be um, honest here. There was absolutely nothing wrong with with the old stain. It worked perfectly fine. This is for more of like a personal preference like like sort of thing. And I just needed a little bit more desk room. So this will this will give me that room on my desk. Just get it in enough. And we have one more. Then we can and then the fun parts begin. You guys are going to really like this. There it goes. Okay, so we are completely in at this point. Let's tighten it. Okay, so I am going to put on the other four and then and, and then we're gonna start having some fun and I'm gonna figure out these so I can so I, so I can mess with all this. And then I'll show you guys uh, what it's like when it's done. there it is and if you're curious about those LED light strips on, 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 on the sides there let me know and I can show you how I did mine but it wasn't hard just go ahead and turn on. the blue light is on oh it's turning on this is my first time actually turning this on okay everything's back powered that's working <laughs> yeah, right now it's a little bit awkward because, well, awkward is awkward because I haven't yet set it to portrait mode yet. And it has to a lot of, so I will see you guys again when it's time to do the flip. Okay, so we are back and let's go. Forget if it's, this will be a 90 or a 180. Oh, it was upside down. Okay, so we need to do a 180. No, a 270. Hey, there it is. Bring it up to scale. Oh, look at that beauty. Like this is now my desk. This is amazing. I have so much more room on my desk for activities. But let's just bring up a web page. Like you will not believe just how amazing this looks with a web page in full screen. Let's just go back. Quit Dropbox right now. So, let's go. 
me just look at this. This is a look at how much more information you get on a web page now. Just look at that. You get so much more. Let's go to like an actual web page. But let's go to Amazon. Nope, there we go. Let's just go into the Amazon page here. Just look at how nicer this looks now after it's all done loading. Just look at the information now that you get. It's just in a much nicer array. Because if you did not know, Web pages were actually designed more for this than than they are widescreen because 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 if you because if if you use for instance like Google Chrome in in, in widescreen on, on on full screen you get so much just extra dead space with this. There is no dead space and you actually get more information per page. So, this is my, my new desk. Next is to upgrade the keyboard right there and upgrade that. But there will be more on that on my, well, there'll be more of that on my music channel than here, unless you guys are interested in that. All right, so the saga, Continues. So, and, and 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 this was actually bought today, which is the day that this is being up is is, is is being uploaded. And if you're seeing a different demeanor or style of me, it's because I'm getting a lot more comfortable working, working with a, a a camera and. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm starting to feel more like myself in in front of the camera. And if you guys also enjoy just just these non very re edited uh, um, videos to where I just do stuff, let me know and I'll try and do more. But enough of that. So I had a computer chair. This thing here, but. It doesn't have a, but it doesn't have a back because the back broke off. It's been that way now for almost a year. So Office Max happened to give me a twenty, a twenty percent off uh, coupon last night, and and I'm like, well, if I got everything else, I'm I I'm I'm I might as well just go all out and just buy me a new chair. So this is what we are doing. And this is not a, a, a gaming chair or one of those high quality chairs. I mean, I just needed a decent working chair. So there are the wheels. Um, okay, that's, okay, that's the base to raise or, or, or lower it. And here's the actual base, which, which is, and this is actually a good quality chair, which I got for $76 after 20% off. So if you don't know the math, the original price was then $89.99. And here, the actual chair itself. It's a nice gray leather pleather. I'm not sure which one it is, but, it, but it's got a very modernized look, which is what my room kind of mostly is. So it matches, which is basically my theme. Okay, here's everything. I bet that's got some screws in it and, nope, oh, no, that's got screws in it. I bet that's a tool. Okay, so let's just now bring you guys over here to my bed, which is, which is actually a brand new mattress. Um, I've had the same mattress for around, for over 10 years. And it was old, it was just not comfortable. Ooh. Can you actually swap out the cover? It's, hmm. 
Okay, maybe now I need to do a cement custom chair. Um, except I've never painted upholstery, so be a little, so I would be a little concerned about doing it. But if I, if I ever figure out how to, I might just do it. But it's a very just nice, it's a very nice material, I think. So that's the way that goes. And so, so this is probably the nicest this is computer chair I've ever owned. And then that, okay, because then that just screws on into there, just like that, and that's your chair. Awesome. This is the base, which is, which is a very nice shiny chrome. And I assume the wheels just pop on. There we go. Oh, look at that, nice chrome. This makes me, makes me happy because I have to be, to be honest with my myself. I've never bought in myself like truly nice, like, like furniture pieces. I bought myself a new desk last year, but like beyond that, I, I never treated like my houseware or deskware like nicely or properly so so this is kind of the year that I just start upgrading new things now now I will still buy hats and shoes and, and whatnot that's that's not going to to change but I just feel it's time that I start that I, I start treating different aspects of my life and kind of get things that that I can still I can still use like when I get my own home or or still have it in 10 years and it it still work fine. That is always fun. Okay, so there's the whole mechanism for the chair and Okay, so that just Oh. Can you then change the tilt? So I assume this. So that's the back. This will go. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Um. They don't seem seem to line up very well. Or maybe it's backwards. Ah, there we go. It was backwards. My fault. Okay. What? Oh, this must be um, the center to pole thing. That's what this is. Okay. Let's just open this up. Yep, it is. I believe this is chrome as well. Yes. Oh. So I'm gonna have the. So I'm gonna now have a chair that that. That I have to that I have to polish. That'll be interesting to have a to, to have a chair that you that you have to polish. So I'm just going to make sure I'm putting the correct screws in the correct places, basically. Yeah. Yep. All those just snap on for for the wheels and 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 the actual arm. Okay, so G goes for this, and the H's go for to attach to the thing. Okay. And they give me another, another Allen wrench, which, which honestly, by now, I have so many of me of these uh, things, and, and you would assume that eventually at some point, people would just We'll just have uh, so many that you don't need to to put them in anymore, or maybe people just constantly lose them, and and they're like, oh well, they probably just need a new one. So, 
we're giving you more and then and then they and then they find out that they have more and it's like well great i did not i did not i need that just get these in here And this was menu, wait, and this was a shipped out. Huh. So, so, so apparently they've had this for half a year. Is that what I'm reading? Oh, then. Okay, it's a, it's the material of polyurethane foam pad. That's why it's so soft. It's a, it's a, it's basically a very nice foam pad. Under penalty of law, this tag not to be removed except by the consumer. Oh, so I can actually take that off. I guess then once you buy this, you can actually take these off. See, I remember when the old mattresses Trish said that that by penalty of uh, 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 of law actually am I even getting this in frame yes I, I am mostly but I re remember that they said that you cannot take these off un un under penalty of law and at the time I was so young that I just thought well that sucks because because now I'll, because now I cannot take it off. No, stupid me, stupid me. That's not what that means. It means that the menu, well, well, not the, the, the manufacturer, but 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 the store cannot um, take them off. So that's what they mean. The things you learn. Okay, so. Can I cheat this? Um, hmm. Okay. Or does it just sit on two? Let's see here. What does it say? Yeah, you put that on first. Yeah. So, how then does one make this? Oh, it probably just needs a little bit more room and just a little bit more force. That one's in. That one's in. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to, 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 to line up. Okay. Now we'll just go right in there. Pressure on. Well, that's how you'll. I'll turn to this side. Wait a minute. Why does it feel like it's not tightening? H H H H. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I just need to work this a, a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely not going in. 
Okay, yeah it is. I'm just being stupid. There it goes. Okay, false alarm. I'm just being really, really stupid. Okay. He's extremely tight. Okay. On this stuff, you definitely want to make sure that it's that it's a pretty well tight, so that way it doesn't come off or break. Or if I can do this and then not move, see, that's now fine. So there's the chair aspect of this all. It's actually it, it, it's nice and it's soft. Okay, so at this point, I just need to yeah, just need to. Hook them on and do I need to screw in anything else? Why is there an Oh there's an extra oh those are just extra parts. Okay, so I, so at, at this point let's come over to the physical construction of this chair. So now that we have that all done, that was the hardest part of this whole thing. Everything else is a piece of cake. So, let's get these wheels on. Just pop in. But the set is fine, just, just pop. There we go. One more. Even come off. Okay, that's just nice. Now we just stick this right in here, and it should just oh, it just it just uh, pressures in, and then this should do the same thing. It should just pressure in. If I could see where it was at. <laughs> And there we go. And that's it's a little wobbly, but maybe. Okay. Okay. There we go. I, I just needed to apply some pressure. Okay. So this chair is now done. Look at that. Beautiful. Just take a sit in, in it. It works and it works well. And it's really, really uh, a good company actually. And now I can sit here and not have to worry about not having back support. So, again, if you enjoy this, let me know. And I just want to thank you all for watching this probably excessively long um, video but but I think it's cool to to kind of see new stuff happening and to see stuff being built and such and like like this could be a half vlog as now as now as now you're kind of into my own personal life and just kind of seeing behind the scenes apart from the, sh the shoes because because now you know basically what I'll have if you have any neat questions or want more in depth about anything that I own ask me and I will and and, and I will definitely make it but I'm gonna enjoy 
listening and sitting here at my new chair and desk. So, thank you all for, for, for watching, and make sure to follow me everywhere on the internet.